Hello everybody, SP Solar here, and welcome to a bit of a showcase on how to make something in my mod, as well as a showcase on how you could make this in a mod of your own. So, in a recent mod I made, the SCP Containment mod, I made a working SCP-914. However, this can also be, this the steps that I did to make this could actually be applied to making literally anything else you want to make when it comes to like multi-block structures and stuff like that or multi-block like you know tools and stuff and so the first thing you need to do is you need to get this block but you need to put it one above the ground this block actually doesn't matter i'm going to be deleting any block that doesn't matter just for this showcase um there cannot be anything in front of the face if you put something like here that that's not gonna work. The face must be in the air. And then you can uh, put this on the back. Specifically one of these, you only need one. Uh, and then go over one. I believe this would be the outside for this one. Same, let's do the in. Don't need these. But then what you do need is to do this, so you can measure it correctly. And, and yes, these in and out signs are required. You go two down, and then right here, we'll take the intake floor, put that there. Output floor, put that there. And good. So yeah, now if I right click on this, it'll actually open up the UI. Now, this took literally like multiple days to fucking make. Which is what has taken a lot of my time to figure out how to make. Because I wanted to make this, but I didn't know how the fuck to make it. <laughs> so that, 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 was, that was the issue. Uh, so now I'm going to go and show you the code as to how this works. And also, just so you know, you can put like anything here, anything here, anything here. You just can't put anything like right in front of this. Otherwise it won't work. The only restriction to this is you can't have, like, one block out from this be something. <laughs> because that's just the way I configured it. You can take this knowledge and, like, make something that will work with that if you want to. Again, that's the entire point of this little video series, is to help people figure out things that took me way too long to figure out in M Creator. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, we're gonna go over this and gonna show you how to make this. Here is everything that makes up my entire SCP-914 capabilities. And this is all, like, editable code and everything. I can change anything that needs to be changed. So, of course, we have the main block. This is a required block right here. This one, this is the block you need. You need to make one of these. It's just a block. It doesn't have any special requirements. Uh, other than, like, I think I made this a block entity. Let me, let me actually check real quick. Yeah, I made it a block entity. So that, it, so that I could bind a GUI to it. But yeah, that's the only requirement, is that you bind a GUI to it. Actually, I don't even know if it's a, that's a requirement. I haven't tested it without the GUI bound to it. But well, we're going to say it's that way for reasons. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, so the things, the other things I have here are like the clockwork blocks, the intake, outtake, intake, floor, output, floor, stuff like that. But then we have this, which I believe this is the code... If I'm correct, I have, I have a lot of code in this thing. There's a lot of things that I had to make. Uh, yeah, this is the code that makes it work. So yeah, this is how this machine works. I have it detect which direction the main block, specifically this one, the selector block, is facing. Be it east, west, north, or south. I then have it detect the block directly behind it and the block directly in front of it. 
behind it must be the clockwork blocks. Again, if any of these are not met, it will not work. It will not activate, and it will not do what it is supposed to do. So, you need to be very precise with the placements. You need to actually get the X and Y stuff, you know, grab grab the uh, you grab the math one. You grab this, and you grab, like, math place. This, and just slap them in there and steal the X and Y from the this thing. And again, you can change these values to be whatever you want. It could be a block, like, 15 blocks away, or whatever, or even a ridiculous amount if you want to build something massive. Of course, good luck with that. <laughs> that, that would be pain. Uh, but, yeah, for mine, it's it's detecting the blocks. If there's an air block in front of it, if there's the intake block on a certain, like, two blocks away from it, on any direction, in a certain direction. Also, note, when you're changing directions for which one it is, you're going to have to change the value to its opposite. Unless you're using the Y value, in which case... It, the y value is weird. The, the y value tends to stay the same because you know it's up just up and down. But the x and x and z axis, x is the inverse of the z. So just remember that when making these, you're gonna have to invert the x's and z's as you go. Especially when it comes to things that are completely the opposite direction or like completely turned. But yeah, as for the input and output floors, you actually have to detect the y where they are in the y-axis, which is two down, four over. So yeah, that's how that's how the actual thing works. And let me just zoom in on that so you can get a very good view of it. So yeah, it's just detecting direction of provided block state. And it's east, west, north, and south. So yeah, and each time it's just opening the GUI. That is how this works. You can do, li you can have it do anything. You can have it kill the player if they click on it. <laughs> this is just a right, right click procedure. Heck, you could have it activate on like a update tick or something like that. That that is entirely up to you. Just this this took far too long to figure out how to make. And of course, I have the GUI I made. Just a GUI. Nothing special. If you want to know how to make a GUI, just you can you can make one like just just through here if you don't know how to make it. Don't mind all of the other random shit I have like boss bar. That's from add-ons that I've been fucking around with. There's a GUI option like right here. I don't know where it will be in like a normal non plugin one, but <laughs> you can find it. But then we have the procedures. Or the, like, one-to-one, -one, fine settings, very fine, all that shit. And yes, this this also took forever to figure out. <laughs> okay, so the first problem was, well, how do I have it detect an item over the blocks, the, the like, intake and output blocks? Well, the answer I came up with was just... Have the first thing the first thing in the procedure be oh god I forgot how laggy this section is yeah don't mind how laggy this is it's just the fact that there's a lot of things this thing can do and it's a long procedure <laughs> it gets less laggy if I zoom out more <laughs> so yeah we're gonna just zoom back in a bit so yeah uh, it detects. Does an entity exist at, and it gets up just above the um, the input and output blocks, within a cube of like three. Uh, of type et, of type item, that is an entity thing you can detect for. And then it converts item entity uh, get entity. It converts it to an item stack. 
and then detects what item it is. It converts this data into an item stack, detecting what item it is specifically. That is how you check to see what item it is. Otherwise, oh shit, I pulled something out. Got the lag. <laughs> yeah, it gets difficult to work with this as I'm progressing through with it. <laughs> Apologies. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it despawns the item. And then spawns on the opposite side, so at the exact opposite coordinates of wherever this is, uh, the item that is output. And it has this exact stuff for every direction the thing can face. So that it's not fucking up and losing track of which direction it's supposed to be checking for. <laughs> Because, yes, I had to actually have this do it for, like, all the different directions. And because these are actually, these different values are actually swapped, depending on what side, the what way the actual block is facing compared to the actual, you know, compared to the actual face of the block. <laughs> but, yeah, that's how all of these work. They're very fine, all that. They all work the same. So yeah, that is how I made this work. You're gonna have to learn to use detection stuff. It took me multiple days to figure out how the fuck to do this. <laughs> and I would say I am very happy with the way it works. It works really fucking well. <laughs> I just need to add, like, sounds and shit to it. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, I am going to end this recording here, uh, so, cause, uh, that's about all that we have for this, uh, for this thing. So yeah, that is how this works, that is how you make this. Go ahead and use this in, like, whatever mod you want, go ahead and, like, modify it, make whatever the fuck you want. This is one of the coolest things that I've made in M Creator so far. And I'm very happy with it. It works really well. And a lot of people don't realize you can do this. You don't, they don't realize you can, like, have it detect blocks around you and around it and then do stuff based off of that. And, uh, yeah. Everyone has enjoyed. If you should join the ranks of the CP Foundation, never forget to shoot that like button, slay those comments, and contain that subscribe button. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in this video, live stream, or whatever I do next. Peace, guys.